Good afternoon, evening, everyone. Let's just fade the day. It is two Wednesday, July 23rd, 2024. The 205. I want you to be nice. I, my hand doesn't want to show it to the 205. I hope I did that in the right order. It gets a little iffy sometimes. Anyway, it's, it's a nice, decent day. Wow. Well, more or less, it's actually more slow than anything. The people that were supposed to take care of the tree branches yesterday and today, yeah, they didn't come over and do that, so I'm not exactly happy with them. And the city is now getting mad at us for all the tree branches that are... Uh, and limbs, oh, like, all the trees are cut down, they're still out there, and the city is now getting mad at us for it. Which means I have to have... An awkward conversation with our property managers. And I can tell that the owner of this company, I don't think he likes talking to us very much. Whenever he's out, he's really, he's, he's snippy. He's, he's really, I wait to get me to shut up. And it like, he just doesn't want to be talking to us kind of thing. I'm not really sure why. I try to be polite and try to convey information as well I, as I can, but it's, it seems more like he wants us to he wants to get what he wants taken care of and just leave as fast as possible. And it's just, he needs to learn some class. Because when, when you're in the business of operating properties in which people lease from you, it's a good idea. It's a really good idea to keep some degree of friendly, friendly relations with those that you're signing leases with. And right now it kind of seems like, it seems like it, because I've only, I've only met him like three times, and all three times he's been, well, he's been around. But he may have his own thing, so I can't go jumping to assumptions, and I'm not going to turn that into a thing where we're just going to be at odds ends all the time, because I'm hanging right here. But that still means if he really, really doesn't like us, he can look for excuses to, you know, but our lease and make us leave. So it's best I just be patient with him. Patient and understanding. It's a good one. Yeah, but I don't I don't wanna go I don't, I don't wanna worry too much about it because the just three limbs are not my responsibility, nor nor can they be. I don't have the equipment to do it. Really it's up to the people they hired to cut those branches or to cut the trees. It's their responsibility to come out and finish what they've started, and they still haven't done that. So I'll have to call the property manager and be like, they're still out there. The city is, start is starting to lose their patience. But the, the thing I know about this city is... If there is a house they don't like, or a house that someone who works for the city, say like upper, you know, like city management kind of stuff, if there is a house that they want, or, you know, a property they want, and they, or they want someone to leave it, they will nitpick every single little thing. And they'll, it, like, well, I, I've met some people who are, who are and, and were homeowners. And what the city does is they'll just nitpick every little thing. And if the roof wasn't done to how they like, they'll condemn the whole house and say it has to be bulldozed. So there is, like, every city has their problems, but the one here is that the, the 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 city managers are the ones who if I if if what I've been told through these rumor mills um hold any water, then the people who run the city are also the people who own all the properties here because the vast majority of people here rent their homes. All the homes here are mostly rental. I know because I'm renting this house. There aren't very many apartments here. Go figure, there are some house, you know, there are houses, but almost all the houses are rentals. And it seems the same groups of people own the majority of the properties here, so... Much like what's happening in... California, which is, there's a ramp up to 11, there's an oligarch problem. Where people who own the properties do whatever they want, and they will bully people out of their properties if they want them. Especially if they if they work for the city, they will bully you out of your home by you know telling you and they nitpick every little thing and then they'll try to find a means to condemn your home and say you know forcefully bulldoze it, which 
completely takes the property value of that lot completely because now there's no infrastructure on the property and they can buy it for pennies on the dollar. And that's, I've, I have personally seen some of these things happen. Although there have been all, there have been instances where houses did need to be condemned. Much like the one down the street that, um, we got the crazy drug addict, the, the psychotic drug addict lady. We thought she burned her house down. No, it was her property manager, her landlord, who I think was like her cousin or something. Uh, he burned it down for insurance fraud. So he's in prison now. I met the people who, uh, whose brother was the bailiff who sent him to prison. Or, you know, popped him and brought him into the prison, kind of thing. But, don't need to go on, on and on about that. That's more Tara's domain. It's not really mine. I don't, it's, we occupy the same brain, so sometimes there's going to be some overlap. But we decided, we, we went world hunting. We wanted to find somewhere to enjoy ourselves, and we found this world. Which is, and bear with me, I will turn this camera off. As enduring, it's glass. This glass that doesn't break so easily, it's like plexiglass or whatever. Really nice world. It is called After Hours Bin. It is a cross platform made by Bombay. Bombay! Seductive world for beautiful creatures. I haven't seen any beautiful creatures, but it is storming out. I can find a way out of here. And there's a bar, but I don't think you can use the bar. It's unfortunate you can't use the bar. Maybe the, this place isn't done. And, and the ice are balls. The ice are balls. That candy? This... Oh, it's dragon fruit. I love dragon fruit. Mm. Dragon fruit tastes so good. And... Cat toast. Oh, wait, what? Hang on. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, oops. Well, I'm not getting it. So, uh, let's find a way out. Cool. So, it's raining here. It's a mountain range. It's pretty. There's a lake. You can swim in the, the, the small lake. So, yes, you can, you can swim in that lake down there. I haven't gone swimming in it. But, well, I did step in it and it showed they had the swimming animation. But, it looks like there is a quite a bit more to explore here. Um, there's another side to this patio. This is a pretty big patio. There's an entire, there is an entire path down there. So you can go hiking here. Although, you can just go VR hiking. Although, if you did one of those VR treadmills, you could just go hiking. You know, speaking of, Tara and I really like walking. Maybe we need to get one of those VR treadmills and just go walking in VR. That would be kind of fun. It's gonna be here. There's these, uh, these, uh, crystal displays. Um. The yeah, VR worlds have pool tables. I have no pro- I have no clones with pool tables. And for some reason, more worlds also have blanket forts. But that the I I, I want to say that it was the millennial generation that started the popularity of blanket forts. But I can't say with certainty. But I'm of the opinion that we that our generation started as popularity. So there's a ooh, there's a chessboard here too. That's cool. Little down here. So, yeah, there is a TV that you can look on YouTube with. I had to turn it off. Um, let's see. There's a hot tub. But don't worry, just because, just because we're in a cabin in the woods does not mean it's a hot tub by machine. Don't worry. You won't have to worry about, um, relations with your grandparents. And then... There is this down here. Yeah, goldfish. I like I like goldfish. Although when it comes to the snack goldfish, those who give their toddlers goldfish crackers clearly have never given their toddler whales. Whales are better than goldfish crackers. You can't change my mind on this. 
It is the perfect flavor and texture combination between goldfish and Cheez-Its. And Cheez-Its. They're, they're absolutely amazing. I... I love whales. Although there is another that we need to try. Um... Great Value has their own goldfish crackers, but there's our, there's our penguins. We do need to try the penguin crackers. But that's mainly because we do really, really like the, the whales. We like whales. But don't worry. They're just crackers. They're just cheese crackers, but they're very, very delicious. I highly advise that if you've never had them, you should. They're cheaper than goldfish crackers. And they taste better than goldfish crackers. You get more in there. Ah, oh, man, I could go for some goldfish crackers now. I keep doing this to myself. But, um, yeah. Now my now all I can think about are goldfish crackers. Way to go, me. Anyway, I, I'm not keeping this much longer because there's a whole heap of things that I still need to do in the house with Tara, with the kids. We're going to make some tea. I'm thinking about frying some hot tea. Or some hot iced tea, I should say. Hot iced tea. Now, if you're confused, it's because we have a bottle of extra hot honey. And I want to sweeten my tea with extra hot honey and see how it is. And if I still like it, I might carbonate it. Tune in tomorrow because it's going to be me tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow if you want to find out whether or not carbonated hot iced tea is any good. But in the meantime, I hope everyone enjoys their Tuesday. This is Tessa Spade on July 23rd, 2024, day 205. See, I'm getting the hang of this. I didn't mess up this time. And because Lily is not here, we're not adding more curse words. We still have... T we still have 10 curse words on there. Oh boy. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade. Enjoy your Tuesday. I will see you all tomorrow on Hump Day. See ya.